With a lot of speculation about the story and the narrative for GTA 6 flowing all over the internet, I think there's one big question that no one's addressing head on. How will having a female lead in a GTA game affect the overall tone of the game, and in particular, the dynamic? Now, before we get into today's video, I want to say a quick thank you to Venom UK. If you're looking for controller accessories for your PlayStation, Xbox, or MetaQuest, they have a range of accessories for you. Now, back to the video. Now, in the past, in GTA games, We've had strip clubs, ladies of the night, and a lot of predominantly male associated activities. Now, whilst it's still possible for these to be in the game and a female to utilize these features in the game, I do think that Rockstar will probably, for the sake of ease, slightly differentiate these experiences. Now, I'm not suggesting at all that ladies of the night and strip clubs will be removed from the game. We are talking about Miami here, and of course, the pole position club is a big thing from Vice City, so I'm assuming that that will be brought back. But I do think the way that they'll approach this will be different. I think Lucia will be able to do all the same activities as Jason, but the lines of dialogue and some of the interactions might be slightly different. The same way in Red Dead Redemption 2, different people doing different things will generate different results. I think it will most likely be the same for GTA 6. Now, another thing that we need to kind of draw some attention to is the actual storyline itself. Previous GTA games have been built on trust and friendship between characters, or in some cases, the breaking of trust and friendship in the case of Trevor and Michael, but with GTA 6, especially with what we know about the Bonnie and Clyde inspired love story, I think it's safe to assume that the relationship between Jason and Lucia will become an integral part of the story. Now, the way that Rockstar write their stories is actually in a similar fashion, whether it's Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, or GTA 4. There's usually a setup to the scenario at the start of the game, there's missions within the middle, and the end is a final conclusion that usually puts us on the spot to have to make a decision. For example, in Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm not gonna spoil the ending if you haven't played it, but that was emotional. And in GTA 5, I can assume you've all completed it. Obviously, we have the three alternate endings. So with GTA 6, I think it's fair to say that they'll probably do something relatively similar. Now this ties back into Lucia in a quite interesting way. I think Rockstar having a male protagonist and a female protagonist really gives us, the players, the choice. If at the end of the game, we have to, for example, choose to only play as Lucia or only play as Jason, that is pretty much us deciding which character we'd like to play the game as to do all the side missions after the main story. Now, of course, there's no confirmation that this is exactly what they'll do, but in my personal opinion, looking at the general feedback from the community of a female lead being in the game, some people like it, some people don't, and Rockstar Rockstar's always been a game of choice. So if at the end of the game, we have to off one of the characters, that'll probably be a choice that comes down to us the same way that we had in GTA 5. Now, the next thing is the actual person that plays Lucia in GTA 6. So every piece of evidence we have so far points to Manny Al Perez being the actor for Lucia. Now, what I have found extremely interesting is a lot of people have tried to paint this as Rockstar going liberal, woke, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't really believe in half those words, but a lot of people pointed to Rockstar's general direction being that way. But in my opinion, if that was Rockstar's general direction, they wouldn't have chose Manny L. Perez. I think this general idea of painting Manny L. Perez as this extreme left wing, whatever you want to call it, like some of these channels have been doing, is absolutely insane, considering that if you actually look at a social media, this doesn't strike me as an extremely left leaning, woke, whatever you want to call it, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. What I'm trying to say is, is that the picture that's being painted of the actors for GTA 6 and Rockstar in general does not align with the evidence. Now, with Lucia potentially being a badass from what we can see, that does not mean that Jason isn't gonna be a badass. We need to wait till the next trailer or some more information contextually about Jason. So when we get the second trailer, we can start to draw a conclusion of the dynamic between the two characters. Now, the next bit of this video, which kind of ties into the first bit, is actually a complete tangent, but bear with me. When it comes to the writing style of Lucia's character and how that interacts with Jason's character, a lot of people have made the presumption that all of the writers left Rockstar Games and none of the original people made GTA 6. Well, some of the key people that have left are Leslie Benzies, but he was more production lead rather than necessarily writing. Another person that left was Michael Unsworth, but looking at his LinkedIn profile, he actually wrote GTA 6. And of course, he was part of the writing process for GTA 5 and one of the key writers for Red Dead Redemption 2, which let's be honest, those games did kind of well. And then of course, we have Dan Hauser, who also wrote GTA 6. We know that because a lot of the voice lines were recorded in around 2018, if we look at the data, and Dan Hauser officially departed the company in 2020 
Infinity after the announcement in 2019. And the other key writers are still at Rockstar. So when it comes to the overall writing direction of GTA 6, I really don't think that we can expect too much to change from GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. However, the addition of a female lead into the game opens up a whole new different world of possibilities. The thing is, is if every GTA game stays the same, that does limit the writing ability for Rockstar games. If you want to have a whole different story and a different way of storytelling, introducing new protagonists is an easy way to do it, especially a different dynamic between main protagonists. Now, there's still not much information out there about whether there's a third protagonist or not, I've been a bit on the fence about that due to during the leaks back in 2022, we could see the developers controlling a third character. Now this might mean absolutely nothing, it might mean something that's yet to be determined. But overall I'm really keen to hear your thoughts down below on how you think the overall dynamic between Jason and Lucia will affect the progression of the game. Also as well, no deleting comments, because when the game actually comes out, I'm going to come back to this video and we can see what our predictions were actually like. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, make sure to go and check out Venom and I'll see you all in the next one.